many people who approach me with 10 to 15 years of experience have this big question why is my salary less as compared to my peers which means if i joined the it industry 10 to 12 years ago my salary is only 10 lakhs or 12 lakhs but my peers or colleagues who joined the it industry at the same time as me are now earning twice as me which means if i am earning 10 to 12 lakhs these people are earning 20 lakhs or more. Why is this happening? And the root cause in most cases is very similar. And that is that these people who are earning less because they have not changed their job even once, which means they joined the IT industry 10, 12 years ago. They joined a huge company like TCS, Wipro, Tech Mahindra, uh, Cognizant, etc. And they are sticking to the same company. While other people who are earning 2x have actually switched jobs. So here is how it works. If you are working in the same company for many years, the way you get salary increment only happens through performance appraisals. Which means you perform and based on the company's budget, you get appraisal hike. This appraisal hike may be 2%, 3%, 5%, 8%, 10%, 12%. All based on your performance. But very rarely would you get a 30% hike. So let's imagine that if they switch jobs twice in last 10 years, their salary hikes will look like 2%, 3%, 5%, 10%. And all of a sudden 30 or 40% because they switch jobs. And again it will become 2%, 3%, 5% and again it will become 30% at the time of a job switch. So what people working in the same company are missing is that boost of 30% or 40% which other people got when they switched job. This is not rocket science, this is common sense and most people know this. There is no difference between the aptitude or attitude. There is no difference between the skill set. There is no difference between the work experience. There is no difference between the role that they are playing everything is same but salary is x versus 2x simply for one reason that these people have taken that risk these people have come out of their comfort zone and switched jobs while other people who have not switched jobs are in a secure comfortable zone which means they don't have any problems in life they are earning a decent salary but they are not realizing that by working in the same company with the same people, with the same account, with the same customer more or less, they are getting into a zone where they are a little too much of comfortable. And because of which they are getting paid what the company can afford to pay. Because let's understand that internal budgets, the budgets that companies allocate to give to their employees in appraisals are very different from what companies pay to people who are getting hired from market. And the simple reason is that if companies have to go into the market, they have to give a competitive package. Otherwise, no new resource will join their company. Resources will join other companies. And that's why 30% or 40% hikes are given to people who are hired from outside. All right. So if you choose to be in your comfort zone, you will end up getting 2%, 3%, 8%, 10%, 12%. But these people, they have taken that risk. They have come out of their comfort zone. They have switched once or twice in the last 10 years. And that is why they are able to earn a lot more than what these people in the comfort zone are earning. One more advantage of switching jobs at a certain frequency is that you get new exposure. You get new experiences. You get to meet new people. You get to work with new clients. And you might get to work with new technology as well. So stepping out of the known space will give you these opportunities and challenges. So if you do some maths, it is not just that their package is more. It is actually also the number of years for which they are earning more. So let's say if your salary is 5 lakhs and you stay on that package for 2-3 years versus this guy is now on 10 lakhs and he stays on that package for 2-3 years, he's going to earn 2 times of you for the next 2-3 to three years. So that is a huge amount. And that kind of calculation you should do if you are not switching your job, which is like an opportunity lost. Alright, so I'm not saying you should switch jobs every year. All I'm saying is that you should have a plan in place and you should know that if you stick to the same company, what are the pros and cons? If the pros that you see are that okay, I am getting flexibility, I am getting work from home, I am getting certain other benefits which are more important for me and I am not worried about the money that I am not making. 
I will choose to stick to the same company, then it is fine. But otherwise, you should also understand that by not switching jobs, you are losing on opportunities. Opportunities to make more money, opportunities to gain more diverse experience. All right, so you should make a plan in which you should tell yourself that, okay, after five years or after X number of years, I will switch a job and I will then target to go in this type of company, in this type of role and work on this type of skill set. So that should be a very pinpointed, action-oriented plan which you should create for yourself. All right, I hope you are able to relate to this. Let me know what you think about it in comments and if you have switched jobs regularly or not. If you are new, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and do not forget to share this video in your WhatsApp groups. I will see you in another video soon. Take care and bye for now.